Chloe from Curly Clay Fitness and today I'm going to be talking about the difference between the cross trainer and the exercise bike. So I've got the Marty range from the guys at exercise.co.uk. Let's begin with the cross trainer. So a great piece of equipment for full body work. Let's give a little demo. We have two options with the arms. We can either go on the inner handles, so that's driving through more with the legs, no arm power, or we can pop the arms out, get that extra push and pull using the levers. Now, my personal opinion is that I really like doing long, slow duration training on the cross trainer. So that's for a period of time, sticking on the cross trainer. No hip training, one level, we move. Pop some tension on and go for it. The great thing about this is that we can build up our endurance. So one week we might be doing 30 minutes flat out on the cross trainer. Maybe the next week we can up it to 35. We can therefore see our fitness increasing, see how long we're able to endure. So really good for endurance, really good. You've also got the option of hip training. My personal preference is long, slow duration training as I like the movement. I like to feel it. I don't like the breaks in between. It's personal preference, but for me, I don't like the breaks in between on the cross trainer. I like to just go for it, flat out, even using one of the pre-designed programs, therefore you get a nice hill climb in there. So it's going to adjust. So instead of doing the hip training, we might start off, might be riding nice and easy. Then the tension might kick in, which will cause us to slow down, which is really gonna put a nice strain on the legs. So excellent for building up the legs as well as cardiovascular fitness. So moving on, we've got the bike. Now, my personal preference on the bike is the hip training. So we work for 30 seconds, we rest for 20 seconds, or we do a Tabata style where we're working for 20 seconds, only resting for 10, repeat, repeat. Really good, I really like it, the power in the legs. You've also got the options to adjust your tension. So we might wanna do intervals on a high tension, which would be really good for building the strength of those legs. Obviously you can use the bike for endurance as well. My personal preference is the hit, but when I fancy it, I might do some LSD training on the bike, pop some tension on so that it's not too easy. Keep with it, build, and like I said with the cross trainer, you might do 30 minutes one week, 35 the next, and you can really build up on it. So in terms of my preference, I do enjoy both because I get a different workout out of both. So I, I, I can't decide, <laughs> and that's my reasoning behind it. Really good machines though, really excellent with the pre-designed programs, you've got the chance to change it up. Not every workout has to be the same. Often people think of a cardio workout as, you know, just walking on a treadmill, the same thing every time. It's never the same, you can adapt it. You can adapt it by adding that HIIT training, you can adapt it by doing LSD training. There are many things you can do, and especially with the pre-designed programs, you've got the options of the hill climbs, or start at high tension and keep with that high tension. Really gonna build yourself up. Great for cardio, but also great for resistance training if you've got that tension on.